Hey boys, welcome to Zavala, Texas. Uh, world headquarters, Ken Smith Fishing. Says so right there. Uh, so I just got the wrap pulled off the links. It is, I forgot how striking this boat is. So this boat is up for sale now. You can come get it. Now, the link stickers came off when we put the wrap on it. I'll order them. You can put them back on if you want to. I am one of those guys, this boat has everything it can possibly have on it. So it's got a Hambies up under it. I put the fancy wheels on it. Tie down, it's got a $300 transom saver. It's got a Bob's hydraulic jack plate. It's turning a brand new 24 pitch Fury. By the way, so a lot of you will remember, I'm gonna step inside where it's a little quieter that when I originally did the boat review, the Bass Cat guys didn't like this boat because it was a wide body boat and it was slow. This is me coming across Rayburn. This is Tuesday. This is Sunday afternoon. Now, this is not a tournament load, right? It's me in the boat. I weigh about right at 200 pounds. I had a half of one tank in the boat. Well, a little bit more than that. So I had probably the boat holds 60 gallons of gas i probably have 15 gallons of gas live wells are empty into about a five mile an hour wind but all my tackles in the boat everything i own was in the boat at that point because i've been going back and forth with the boat so check out this speed right here all right guys so Watch the acceleration through the mid-range on this boat. So I'm purring along there about 45 miles an hour and watch the RPMs, 56, and I'm gonna get in it right about there and watch this boat, 61, 63, 65, 67, 68, 70, 72, 73, 73. I'm running out of Harvey, by the way, and I'm running smack at the Amber Forest and you're gonna see, I'm gonna get it to 77 miles an hour and I just frankly flat run out of room. I don't, I mean, it's still accelerating. You can see 67, 6, 60, 76, 8, 76, 9, 77, and I have to come out of it right there. I I think it had more speed in it, but I just, you're going to see right here in a minute, there's whoops, here comes woods. So I got to get in and start turning, and that boat will fly. I mean, it'll fly. It's a legit miss 74, 75 mile an hour boat, tournament loaded. It is a really, really fast, really wide, really comfortable boat. I have really enjoyed my bass cat links you know because of some of the videos i've done specifically the videos with nick from mercury racing talking about props um, i get a lot of emails a lot of calls about props and performance and i always direct guys here this is the first place to start figuring out what's right and what's wrong this is the mercury prop slip calculator and i i'm turning the 24 pitch fury the ratio the gear ratio on that motor is 175 turning 6100 rpms at 77 miles an hour that's a three percent prop slip guys that is that's pretty damn close to race boat prop slip numbers uh my ranger prop slip was <sighs> I think I saw six once, but it was usually seven, eight, nine when the boat was loaded. That's really, really good prop slips. I just want to share that with you and remind you that calculator's out there. And uh, that is a high performance bass boat right there to get a 3% prop slip. So that's the slow bass cap, 77 plus miles an hour. And you can tell I had to, I ran out of room. I think it might've had a little more in it. Uh, but the boat is loaded. I'm gonna put, Sorry, it's rush hour here in Zavala. I'll put in the description below everything that's on the boat, but the boat has everything. It has uh, blinker switches for, for the jack plate, for the trim. I mean, it's got everything you can have on it. The boat's in beautiful shape. The hull's clean. There's nothing you could want on a boat that's not on this boat. And let me also say to you, if so I'm running a combination of Garmin and, and Humminbirds. If you're a Lawrence guy, if you want to be all Garmin, if you want to be all Humminbird. Somebody get in a new house. Uh, we'll work it out, right? We got a great relationship with the guys at Jones. We'll do some horse trading with them. If you want something other than what's on the boat, we can make that happen. But 
you'll the boat's got a lot of warranty left all this information is in the description below the boat's ready for delivery now i have a way to fish out of a boat for the next eight weeks till i get my new one ordered or my new one gets here maybe 12 weeks but I'm ready to move this boat. I've owned two boats before, and I don't want to own two boats again. It's not a not an inexpensive uh, hobby, and I don't need to own two boats, uh, especially with two little kids. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. So, got a lot of warranty left on the boat. That's in the description below. Motor's got 135 hours on it. I just did the 100-hour roll change on it four or five months ago. I hadn't put a ton of hours on this boat. Most of them were right at the beginning of COVID, but you know we've had two little kids, so. Not near the hours you see on a lot of motors. Motors running great. Everything on it works. Not a thing on it that doesn't work. Got multiple uh, wireless power poles. We've got one that I've never even used. It's for the that's on a lanyard. Trolling motor's got a remote control. Oh, it's also got a a, uh, a cover that's never been on it. The cover is actually in the back of the black truck. That'll come with it. And I should also point out about a fifteen hundred dollar upgrade. I have in the back of the truck the other console. So this is actually a dual console boat. I have chosen after fishing out of it both ways a little bit. Other than on really ugly cold days or rainy days, I keep the passenger console out. It just makes the boat a lot easier to get around in. But if you want a dual console boat, we can put the console in here, me and you together in three minutes. By myself, probably six or seven minutes. Guys, obviously this is not my boat, but this is uh, another Lynx. I wanted to show you what that other uh, console looks like. And one other note here, uh, I don't have my windshields on. Uh, I just, I got them. I ran it without them. Uh, I, I never put them on. I ran it without them. I kind of like the look of it without them. And so I've left them off. So that's what they look like from the front. I've got them. I've got all the mounting hardware. So if you want to put them on there, you can. But I just chose not to. And I don't think I will on my next one either. So your option. So it's a dual console 2021 Bass Cat Lynx. This was the result of the great bass boat search of 2021. There's not a tear in the carpet. There's not a tear in the seats. Again, it's been wrapped since the, about a day or three after I got it. I'm in Coda Ultrax 101, 112 trolling motor, excuse me. All the batteries are in good shape. We swapped some of those batteries out earlier this year, or all the batteries out earlier this year. So this thing is ready to go. There's nothing you need to do unless you want to put the link stickers back on. You can put the link stickers back on. So if you're interested, give me a shout. Ken Smith Fishing at Outlook.com right there at the bottom. Or uh, if you'll email me or comment below, I'll, uh, I'll give you my phone number and we can talk. Uh, so, actually, the phone number will just be in the description below if you want to talk about it. So, it's a beautiful boat. It's going to make a, somebody a really, really, it's, it would be a great less boat ever. I got to tell you, it has been the best big water boat. I have ever owned. And that's why I bought this boat was through that search. If you remember... My, my main criteria were well built, big water boat, fast boat. And that's what I got. And what I discovered was being part of the Bass Cat family is a really cool thing as well. I've really enjoyed getting to know all the other Bass Cat folks around the country. And I understand now why it feels very cultish because once you own one, you want to own another one if you're going to own another boat. So I'm done rambling. There it is. I'll give you one more walk around. It's a beautiful boat. Guys, sorry, the video gets a little jumpy here because I slowed it down. So the boat is, as I've described everything here, the only two things that aren't pictured are the, uh, the second console, which is in the back of the truck, and the, and the uh, boat cover, which is also in the back of the truck. Boat cover's never been put on it. The boat goes from this boat barn four and a half miles to the ramp, four and a half miles back. So never had to put the cover on it. I don't chase tournaments around the country anymore, so... Uh, that's why the boat's got so few miles and so few hours. Uh, I've, I've done a bunch of looking online. There's only a few links for sale, uh, but this is one of them. Uh, this Lynx only has 135 hours. The only other year model boat, I think there's two other 21s available, and both of them have more than twice that many hours. One of them has almost three times that hours, and those boats are both priced in the high 70s and low 80s. So at 75000 bucks, I'm pricing it to move it. 
Again, I think the only thing you got to spend beyond that is a hundred bucks to transfer the warranty. The boat is available through Ross Motorsports in Lufkin. Now, right now it's in Dallas. You can look at it here, but I'll meet you anywhere you want to look at it. But the key with Ross is number one, they can help you with financing if you need it. But also if you have a trade, they'd be interested in talking to you about your trade as well. Um, and, and by the way, I didn't mention it, but the retail on this boat with the electronics on it is way over $100,000. Um, so electronics, again, are the blades. At the dash, we have a Humminbird Helix 12. And I do that because uh, I still like the, uh, the mapping on the Humminbird. It's what I'm used to. I know the Garmin has gotten way better, as has the Lowrance, but it's what I'm used to, so I've stayed with it. Uh, that's also the glassed-in hull uh, 2D transducer is to that Humminbird. And then you got your you got your uh, your side imaging on the it's a Garmin 1243 in the dash, and it's also linked to the front one. So if you're teaching kids to fish and or to teaching them to live scope, you can sit in the driver's seat, control the trolling motor with the with the uh, uh, remote control and on that Garmin you can see what's going on because they're linked on that front unit with the with the LVS 34 so the the transducer on the trolling motor for live scope is the LVS 34 that's the newest one so you can see that on both those screens now on the front deck there is another Garmin 1243 and then double stacked above that is a Humminbird 10 that 10 I used pretty much strictly for mapping now it is uh, connected to and works the 2D sonar through the trans through the uh, troller motor, so it's connected through that. But I don't use it, but it it's up there and it works. So again, if you want to go all Humminbird, if you want to go all Garmin, if you want to go all Lowrance, we can work something out uh, for you know a variance off the price, but probably not retail through the guys at Jones Troller Motor. They're going to help me out, and you know I've priced it to sell it because I don't want to own two of them done that before and that's hard on the pocketbook so it's a beautiful boat it's going to make somebody a great boat uh it's i've taken care of it that wraps really kept the boat beautiful and uh, i think you'd be real pleased to have it and uh you'll love the ride in it so ken smith fishing at outlook.com is how you reach me my phone number and all this information is also in the description below so hope to hear from you soon guys thanks